we know that any composite number can be broken down into a product of prime numbers. So essentially what I get is that prime numbers can make up any composite number. So prime numbers are called the building blocks of composite numbers. And when I write a composite number as a product of all its factors, I say that process as factoring. So the factoring is a process in which a composite number is completely broken down into all its factors. Now let us recall what a factor is. A number, if it is divisible, completely divisible by a number, then that number becomes a factor of that number. So if I want to find factors of 12, how would I do that? I know that two factors for sure. That is, a number is always divisible by 1 and the number itself, which is 12. So I know 1 and 12 are the two factors of 12. Now how do I find the rest of the factors? So I need to find numbers that can perfectly divide 12 or perfectly fit into 12. So let us try to do that with this example. Let us say you want to make a boat which is 12 by 12, 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters and you want to fill this boat with square tiles. Now I know that 1 is a factor of 12 so if I start filling up this boat with square tiles of 1 centimeter, then I can fill this completely. So this side which is 12 centimeter, can be completely filled by 1 or I can say that 1 divides 12. Now I want to check it for 2, 1 completely fills it, I want to check it for 2, so I start with 2, now 2 perfectly divides 12. It perfectly fits into 12. So 2 would also completely fill this. So 2 is a factor. Now is 3 a factor of 12? 3 also perfectly fits into this 12 centimeter. So I can say that 3 would also fill this up. 3 is a factor of 12. Now is 4 a factor of 12? 4 also perfectly fills this. So would completely fill it too. And hence, 4 is also a factor. What about 5? I see that there is some gap that is left. 5 and 5 is 10. So there is this 2 centimeters of gap which is left, which is not filled. And if I get another block of 5, then it would go outside this 12 centimeter. So what I see is that 5 does not completely fill this 12 centimeter. Or I can say that 5 does not develop. 12 evenly. What about 6? Now 6 and 6, 12. So it divides it, divides 12 evenly and hence would complete this board also. Now again I need to check for 7, 8, 9 and so on. 7, some space left, does not divide. 8 again, if I take another 8 then it would go outside this 12. So 8 also does not divide. 9 does not, again 10 will also not, similarly 11 will also not divide, there is some space left and 12 perfectly fits into this 12. So what I see is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, these are the factors which divide 12. Now the process was tedious, I had to check from 1 till 12 for all the numbers. So rather than doing that, we know that a composite number, 12 is a composite number, it can be broken down into primes. So let's do that. So I write 12 as a product of prime factors. So what you can do is, you start, you can write 12 as 2 into 6. Now as soon as you see a composite number further, you further break this down till you get 12 as a product of all prime numbers. So here 6 is a composite number. So what I will do it, I will write this number 6 as 2 into 3. Now 2 is a prime, 2 again is a prime, 3 is also a prime. So this is what I get, 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. So this is how I break a composite number completely into all its prime factors. So these are factors which divide 12 and are also prime. So I say that these are prime factors. 
Now two is a factor, is a prime, prime factor. Again three is a factor, is a prime number also, so it's a prime factor. What you would see is that the remaining factors are nothing but product of these prime factors only. So 1 and 12 I know for sure are factors of 12. 2 I get from here. 3 again is a factor. I get it from here. What about 4? 2 into 2 gives me 4 which is a factor. Now 2 into 3 gives me 6 which is again a factor. And if I multiply all of them I get 12 which is again a factor. So what you can see is that it is so easy to find all the factors by just listing the prime factors. So take a number, break it down into prime factors completely and once you have these prime factors then all the factors you can get, how? By just multiplying these prime numbers. So take all the different combinations of these prime factors, multiply them and you would get the remaining factors also. Okay, so now let's see you want to make a board which is 16 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So this is the board and you want to use square tiles again to fill this board completely. So if I want to use square tiles, I know it has to divide 12. So I start with 1 which divides 12. Now if I put a square tile with 1 here, I see that 1 should also divide 16. I know 1 divides 12 and 16 both numbers, so it should divide 16 also. Hence it can completely fill this board. But what I see is it would take a lot of time to put these square tiles of 1 centimeter each. So what I need to find is the largest possible square tile that can completely fill this. So I start with 2. I know that one side is 12, so I know factors of 12 now, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So I would check these factors because they have to fit into 12. So 2 fits into 12, again 2 should divide 16 also, it does. So this can also be a square tile which can be used to completely fill this board. Now I want to find the largest possible square tile. So is there any number which is greater than 2 and completely divides both 16 and 12? That is what I need to find. So let me try 3. I know 3 divides 12 but does 3 divide 16? No it doesn't. There is some amount of space left and if I put another block of 3, you would see that it goes out of this 16. So 3 does not perfectly divide 16. I try 4. 4 divides 12. 4 also divides 16 perfectly. Now this is one square tile which I can use to completely fill this board. But I want to find the largest possible square tile. So is there any other square tile which is greater than 4 and can be used to completely fill this board? The other factors of 12 are 6 and 12. So I try 6. Would 6 divide 16? No it doesn't. If I put one more block of 6, it goes outside the 16 centimeter. So it does not divide 16 completely. What about 12? Again there is some space left. Divides 12 but not 16. So what do you see? You see that factors of 12 are all these factors. Factors of 16 are these. We wanted a factor that is both a factor of 12 and 16. So you see that there are some factors which are common to both. 12 and 16. So which is 1, 2 and 4. So if I list the factors like this such that one, the common factors are one below the other. I can see that 1, 2 and 4 are the factors that are common to both 12 and 16 and so I call these as common factors. What are common factors? When two or more numbers have the same factors, then these factors are called common factors. So common factors of 12 and 16 would be 1, 2 and 4.
I wanted a common factor that was largest. I wanted to make the largest square tile which would fit perfectly into a board that was 12 by 16. So I wanted the largest common factor which is 4. I can say that 4 is the highest common factor. It is the largest number that is a factor of both these numbers 12 and 16. So since 4 was the highest common factor, I call it as HCF that is highest common factor and 4 is actually the largest whole number that is a factor of both 12 and 16. And you saw this that 4 could completely fill this board. It was dividing 16 also, it was dividing 12 also and this was the largest possible square tile that you could use to completely fill this board. Other way to look at it is, now I know that all the factors can, I can get all the factors of 12 by just breaking it down into prime factors. Again I can break 16 into all its prime factors. Now HCA would be, you find all the common factors. Rather than finding all common factors, now what I am doing is, I am minimizing my work by finding only the common prime factors, which is 2, again another 2. So HCF can be found by multiplying these common prime factors. So HCF would be Two into two, which is four, which we've just seen that four was the common factor. So four is the largest number that is common is a factor and is common to both these terms, which is both twelve and sixteen. So that's how you can find HCF simply by breaking two numbers, composite numbers, into its prime factors, finding all the common prime factors, multiplying those common factors common prime factors and you get the HCF. So now let's look at this. So Siali has these two cloth pieces. One is 60 centimeters, the other is 72 centimeters. So now these two cloth pieces she has. She wants to cut these cloth pieces into strips. Now these strips have to be of equal width. What she wants is that when she cuts this cloth into strips, she should not waste any cloth and the strips should be as wide as possible. Width of a strip here should be the same as the width of the strip which she cuts of this cloth. So if I divide this cloth, say if I make a strip, let's say if I cut it like this in a strip which has a width x. I know that no cloth should be wasted. So this x should perfectly divide 60. It should perfectly divide 60. Also, x should perfectly divide 60 and this is the width. The same width has to be cut from the other cloth also. So x should not just divide 60 perfectly, it should also divide 72. So the width has to be the same. If I cut this cloth also, it should have a width x. So width has to be the same. Both have to be, div be divisible by x. And I want that it should be perfectly divisible. So x has to be a factor of both 72 and 60. Further, I want that it should be as wide as possible. That factor which is common to both 72 and 60 should be the largest such common factor. I want it as wide as possible. This x should be as wide as possible. The largest possible common factor. So what I essentially need to find is the highest common factor of 72 and 60. So how can we do that now? I need to find HCF of 60 and 72. Easiest way is break both 60 and 72 into prime factors. So I write 60 and 72 as a product of prime factors. I completely break them down into its prime factors. Now write them down in such a way that the common factors are one below the other. You can find the common factors here now. 
टू इज कॉमन अगेन टू इज कॉमन एंड हेयर थ्री इज कॉमन सो हाउ डू आई फाइंड एच सी एफ बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑल द कॉमन प्राइम फैक्टर्स so these are the common prime factors hca would be these are the common prime factors multiply all of them together which is 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 so i get 12 as the largest common factor or the highest common factor that is if i now cut that cloth piece into strips of 12 it should perfectly divide 12 without wasting any cloth let's see so i divide it i get these five strips and there is no wastage of cloth completely divided again now i have to use this same strip in this cloth also so if i cut this cloth again with the same strip which is 12 now it should completely divide this cloth so i see that 12 is the largest possible width which i can use to divide both the pieces 60 and 72 so all you need to do to find the largest common factor is break the numbers into its prime factors completely find out the common prime factors multiply those common factors and you end up getting the hcf which is the highest common factor